fire up to the election. Very, very ambitious promises. Uh, we were promised to have a corporate tax reduction from 25 to 20%. One district, one factory, one down, one village, Zongo Development Fund, all those areas. And the electors are getting sophisticated. And so some of us are beginning to take, year one is passed, we were supposed to give 275, it hasn't gone. Year two, what is going to happen? And I think that the president is not helping matters because he keeps insisting that he will honor all his promises. And even yesterday, he kept insisting that he was committed to honoring all his promises. I rather thought that, and this free advice, I've come to office, I'm faced with reality, I can do the best of my ability, I'll try and be honest. Where I think that I cannot fulfill that promise, I will tell the people of Ghana, and I believe that the people of Ghana would understand and move forward. Clearly, from the way I see things going forward, I think that government would have to manage expectations very, very well and come clean with us. If you have real challenges, tell us that, look, these are the issues. We can't give you 20% corporate tax. Just last week, I heard the president attempting to announce some reduction in electricity tariff. And I asked myself, who gave the president that advice? Because in our electricity tariff categorization, they are just about four or three non-residential, residential, and SLT. SLT has to do with the big, big industries, and then an upper category of the mines. They take power directly. And so when I heard the president announcing that there's a reduction for barbers, there's a reduction for tailors, there's a reduction for hairdressers, I asked myself, but who advised the president to make that announcement? Because first of all, there's a PRC. That is their job. Let them crank the numbers and look at long-term sustainability and give us the most effective tariff. If you want to subsidize, that's a different matter. But even if you go to the budget, government promised a subsidy of 50 million. As at the time the budget was being presented, it had not been paid. 50 million, not in a huge amount. 50 million, it had not been paid.